the things that really appeal to me about the food and drink industry um, are that it's such an immediate product and it's, it's really subjective. People have real connections to the things that you're working on. So I've worked on chocolate bars, on new chocolate bar launches where I've done all development and my friends don't know what it is that I'm working on and they're coming home from the end of the day and they really want to know, oh, what's, what is it that you're doing, Jess? You know, tell us, tell us. And I can't because it's obviously we're, we're developing brand new products. And then you see it launched, your friends see it coming into the shops and getting all these messages through saying, oh, I've just tried a new product and it's amazing. It's, it's just really subjective. People really like and have a connection to the things that you're working with. At school, I actually did the International Baccalaureate rather than A-levels, but my three main subjects were chemistry, maths and physics. And in sixth form, I didn't really know what I was looking at. I knew that I wanted to go to university. I knew that I probably wanted to do something with the, the chemistry and the maths. Um, and I was exploring opportunities and found that chemical engineering takes all three. So that's the way I got into chemical engineering. Um, studied that for four years. And over the four years of trying to explore okay, what are the kind of industries that I could be working in? I identified that the food industry is a great place to work. I love working with the, the FMCG sector um, and got into Mondelez that way as, a, as an engineering graduate. As a chemical engineer, my role in the business, we class it more under process engineering. So it's monitoring the, the process itself of chocolate making, of making bars, or of our other categories, so biscuits and coffee. Um, it's, it's more about scaling up from the small hand samples in the development to how do you translate that into a product that you can make in the hundreds, in the thousands, in the millions, and see it through the shop shelf. So it's some of the calculation behind the scale up process, it's monitoring the process as it runs, and it's having an understanding of the machinery that you're using and how you can optimize it to, to create your products. My advice for people considering the MNG food engineering course is that it would be a brilliant opportunity. I think to have the experience and the exposure of working with big companies on these kind of products, getting real applications, um, the placements are a brilliant opportunity for you to get real experience and to take your, your theoretical knowledge and translate it into something real. And I think uh, as a chemical engineer, the chemical engineering courses typically focus a lot on oil and gas and pharmaceuticals and I knew that that wasn't for me, so I think had there been a food engineering course available, I would have jumped it. The project that I've worked on that was the most exciting for me was when I worked in research and development and I worked on the new bubbly bar for um, the Cadbury brand and also Milka. And it was a brand new product for us. I got to work on the development stage. I was there hand making samples in the pilot plant and then scaling up the whole process to get it into the factories and monitoring the process, of trialing at startup and then seeing it through the shop shelves. That was brilliant. My favourite part of my job is, is seeing the smiles on people's faces genuinely when you've, when you've made a new product and you've seen it coming through on the shop shelves. I've got a nine-year-old sister who thinks it's the coolest thing in the world that her big sister works in a chocolate factory. And I love that all of my friends and family really enjoy what I'm making.